we both just got our chakras aligned and we thought it was the perfect time to go to Golden Corral for the first time. Baby boy is ready for a buffet. Also, don't be gay around me. Okay, so like, what am I doing that's gay right now that I should change? Oh, I just... Nothing. I just wanted to warn you, like, I support gays, but if you meet up with a gay guy at the Golden Corral, like, yeah, just don't do it around me. <laughs> I googled Golden Corral and one of the first thing that <laughs> first things that came up was this fight that happened at Golden Corral. It's total chaos during one wild food fight. Now I kind of know what I'm walking into because you know those restaurant chains where there's always a fight happening? Chuck E. Cheese. Golden Corral, I guess. CeCe's Pizza's kind of in that lane too. Was something limited at the buffet and someone got the last slice or what? Apparently it was over a, um, a, a steak. Shut up. Was it actually? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's iconic. It happened at a Golden Corral buffet and grill in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. One thing I want to say before we go is that if you're going to eat somewhere, never go on Wikipedia and look at the controversies tab. I guess Golden Corral has had salmonella before and people got food sick and they don't clean anything, but let's still go. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> we have arrived to Golden Corral, steaks, buffet, and bakery. We're here, boo-boo. You get into the Golden Corral and people are eating, just living, thriving. The only problem was when we walked in, there wasn't a sign of what to do. There wasn't like a please be seated moment. So we were kind of confused and I felt out of place. I felt like I walked into a party that I wasn't invited to. Luckily, one of the Golden Corral girls spotted us and said, come up to the counter and let's get this going. What do you want to drink? I chose Diet Coke. I also chose Diet Coke. It was packed. I went on Google before this, sought this Golden Corral, and it said that at seven o'clock it wasn't supposed to be busy. But it was busy. Those effing Google schedule things are a lie. For two buffets, it ended up being 35, 48. So if you divide that by two, I don't know what that equals, but it's basically like $16, $17 for a buffet. I'm trying to think of like what restaurant this would be comparable to. Cheesecake Factory, that's like one meal, $35. I'm thinking like, is Olive Garden in this vibe? But the thing is, you'd only get to pick one meal. This one, you get a whole array. You get to taste every crevice of every meal you could ever imagine. Yeah, I think when it gets down to buffets, it answers this age-old question that, question that people have been wondering for years. Do you actually get more food out of out of a buffet than eating at Olive Garden? Because part of me thinks that you eat the same amount. It just yeah. is more fun. A buffet moment is fun, of course, but I do think there is something about committing to one meal that is kind of more satisfying, because at a buffet, you just nitpick at a bunch of things and it doesn't feel like you ate the whole thing. It'd be like going on a bunch of first dates, but never marrying a woman. Oh, well, oh because you're homophobic in this video, I forgot. I, I, I was just, in, in that one scenario was, or a man. Or anything in between. Aww. I said I had to go to the bathroom. Jacob said he did too. So I was like, okay, let's go. But then Jacob was like, no, I'm going to stay here. And I was like, we both can't go at the same time. And then you just had this weird vibe. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go. I don't, I didn't know what was going on, but there was a weird energy. Oh no, it made me feel like I was leaving something behind if we both went to the bathroom and left yeah. our Diet Cokes there. I know most likely no one's, no one's going to do anything. Let's just be fucking honest. But I am um, sometimes I'm just, uh... I guess a stressing person. Too much cortisol in my body sometimes. Is that, wait, cortisol? What the fuck is it yeah. called? Oh, okay. I filmed this dirty table because I was gonna be like, oh, well, this place is so gross, but um, it turns out, like, they just were waiting for it to get clean. So, like, I was like, gonna be an asshole and, like, start a whole movement. Like, Golden Cross is so gross, but, um... <laughs> I then went to the bathroom once Lucas got back. It was a good bathroom. I used the urinal because I just had to take a pee. And I would rate this bathroom a two out of five. It wasn't up to date, but definitely get the gets the job done. You feel secure. You don't want to feel unsecure in a bathroom because then you feel like you can't let your um, pee or poop out. Speaking of it being outdated, I want to know. It sort of has the vibe of not current day, but I think it's on purpose. Because like looking at this Golden Corral right now, like the signs all neon and shit, like they definitely have done some updating, but I think they're trying to like keep it in a past era, like on purpose. I have a question for you watching. If you've been to the Golden Corral near you, is it all in the inside? 
If you look at the ceilings of this golden crow, I don't even know what you call this ceiling, but it reminds me of a of my grandparents' house. My grandparents actually don't have that ceiling, but it reminds me of a grandparents' house. The whole vibe in there reminds me of, in a movie, like detectives are at a diner, and they, this is where they'd be. Once we started getting ready to munch, we grabbed our plate, and I was honestly, wow, this is on the big old side of the buffets. Like, out of all the buffets, this is for sure on the more wide set vagina scale. First of all, we went to the salad pot. I got some spinach and some, I think this is romaine lettuce, su sunflower seeds, some other shit, I think. I got some romaine lettuce. I was gonna get croutons, but they, they didn't have that many and they were really crushed. They probably were just about to refill them, so I skipped to those. Got some blue cheese dressing. And what else did I throw on it? There was something else. Oh, broccoli. I have to say, it was pretty good. The blue cheese hit the broccoli. Great, and it was just good to get some greens in before we hit the fried foods. Mm. Mm. We got down to munching, and of course, I prayed to Wendy from the Wendy. Like, Wendy's the, the mascot. I honestly feel like she'd be so nice, and I do feel like she has a key to another element of the world. So that's why I'm praying to her, because I want her to give me that key. I didn't pray, and I feel bad about it. We weren't sure what to do with the plates and we were done, but luckily we followed some context clues. We saw a table next to us stacked the plate, so we did the same thing, and I guess that's what you do. This waitress, I don't know what you call her because she wasn't technically giving us food, but she was a thing. Lucas was done with his Diet Coke and she said, do you want another soda? Lucas didn't hear what she said, so she's, she re, re, uh, uh, she re said it and said, do you want another soda pop? Soda pop. Like, I that know. alone, she could be the meanest person to me, but since she said sh soda pop, she's automatically fantastic. Also, I have to say, at a buffet, it is such a satisfying moment when you get the new plate. It's just cool being like, I get to start completely fresh with a new plate. You get a second chance, and a lot of times in life, you don't. Yeah. We were on to our second plate. Broccoli. Cauliflower. Is that pickled cabbage? Grasso spots. Um... Is that like vegetables, carrots, peas, corn, beans, corn cobs, green beans, stuff in plastic? Do you know what that is? Potatoes. The most iconic part about this island of vegetables is that to spice it up, they add a whole tub of nacho cheese. Our mom doesn't do this anymore. I don't know why she stopped. But during Thanksgiving, she used to make frozen vegetables with cheese was on top of it. That's like literally the most Midwest gross uh It was good ass, but like... I'm just gonna say gross yeah, thing. I love how I love how the Golden Corral was like, get your veggies, but if you wanna help them go down a little bit easier, volcano some nacho cheese on this bitch. They had a place where gloves were hanging on the wall. The whole idea was wear gloves while you're at the buffet. We noticed nobody else was, so we're like, we're not gonna pretend to be oh, we need to be hygienic. It's like, who gives a flying F? <laughs> There was soup. Like, I, we didn't get any of this, but there was chicken noodle soup. And now, Lucas, you can describe the next section because you seem like the expert on this. I found myself at the Mexican food section. I went ham, which means hard as a motherfucker. I got myself some nachos, taco meat, went back to the vegetable place, poured nacho cheese on it. I got an enchilada. They had some other items in that category that I didn't get, but I was so excited for my plate. But I just went down to, like, the home style south route. I got fried chicken, meatloaf, and what the F would I get? Oh, and a corn cob. Don't forget that. I dug into my plate. The enchilada was so good. Like, I was thoroughly loving it. It wasn't that filled, but honestly, it was fine because the, tor the tortilla and sauce and cheese and shit was so good. My little nacho concoction. Slam dunk. Mm. Oh my god, the corn was so good. It actually was just juicy and fell off the corn bone. Er. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Someone's behind you! <laughs> That's funny. Lucas cupped begging me to try a piece of his nachos. You wanna try a nacho? 
You just want for the real. Can we talk about this little thing that happened in your brain when someone begs you to try something? Because then it gives off the vibe they're trying to poison you. Like, I know Luke is not trying to poison me, but when he kept telling me, try the nachos, it was like he knew they were gross, so he tried to make me gross out. My thoughts on the corn is that it tasted like frozen corn cobs. You guys have seen this at the grocery store, those frozen corn cobs. It tasted like that. I've never actually had those frozen corn cobs, so I'm not one to say because I've never had it. I mean, it still tasted good. I actually think so foul. The corn cobs are the best thing I've had. But out of this whole but fucking buffet. Now I started cutting open the meatloaf. <laughs> cutting open, I mean just getting my knife. <laughs> and at this point, well, first let me give you the backstory. There has been multiple times in my life where I've been grossed out by buffets. I just think it's a little bit gross how everyone touches everything. Most of the time I'm not grossed out. But I got in this grossed out energy and I wish I could pinpoint why I got grossed out but I don't know exactly why. I think I did it to myself at a certain point. I walked in and I was like a little bit grossed out already just because it was a buffet. And it was super busy which makes it more gross because um... More people. More people touching. Also, we've been to like quote unquote fancy buffets and Jacob is still grossed out. I think you just... Have something against buffets, and that's what it is. I don't know if I hate them, but yeah, I tried the meatloaf, and the thing about it, it tasted good. It tasted like, um, Grandpa's meatloaf. And then the fried chicken. I know you guys were all waiting for this. I tried taking a bite. Grease dripped down my mother effing hand. <laughs> yeah, the chicken tasted like KFC chicken, so if you want KFC chicken, go to Golden Corral, I guess. That's pretty good. KFC is like the king of chicken. Ew. <laughs> mm. Me and Lucas noticed a revolutionary thing when we were there. I guess you can get this buffet to go and they weigh it by the pound. It's like $7.99 per pound. I wonder if there's hacks. Like how to get more in the weight. You know what I mean? Oh, I feel like there's a way. La la la. We were on our last plate of the main courses. Like we decided... After this plate, we're getting dessert. This is our very last plate. How do they do this with a buffet being $15? I think this is expensive, but there was prime rib. There was a guy that would cut prime rib for you. I didn't get it because I'm not that big of a meat person, but that was the thing. Now, that is crazy for that amount. For that price, you can get prime rib. And as much as you want. Do you think they put a limit on that, or can you just get as many slices as you want? Like, eat a whole prime rib. I got a whole array of things for this. I had to shove as much as I could. I got some honey shrimp breaded, french fries, skeddy, taters and gravy, and a piece of pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I wanted to get cornbread in a pan, but I accidentally got the effing wrong thing. But yeah, I got this toast. I think it's like garlic bread or some shit. A yeast roll, which Lucas informed me people said was the most delicious thing there. And mac and cheese. This part of the buffet was just everything. They had Italian food. It was kind of a mess in a salt and light because like, it's like, what the F do I get? The seafood section was packed as well. There was honey shrimp, just regular breaded shrimp baked fish like they they had you covered with the underneath the sea vibes under the sea na 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 under the sea sorry i had to do this i just like felt the need to the yeast roll lived up to the google review i read praising it it was good like it just melted yeah, it was yummy. The toast, it was okay. I was expecting a little bit more. For some reason, in my mind, I thought it was gonna be like the Raising Cane's toast. It wasn't. This is what it is. White bread, you put it in a toaster and you slather some butter and some garlic sauce. Cool, I like it, but it's not anything crazy. Nothing too revolutionary. But to be honest, that's like 90% of life. And it's good to be thankful even for stuff like that, you know? That's true. I'm thankful for that, and I'm also thankful for my big toe. If you didn't have your big toy, I don't, I don't think you'd be able to balance, so thank you. Hey, for everyone watching, why don't you take a, some time to sound off in the comments about some ordinary things you guys are thankful for. Let's start a chain of gratitude. So, like, yes, yes, there was a little bit of corniness in that, but, like, I do think it's good to be thankful. And, Same. like, le, 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 Same. Like, like, legit. Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know how to communicate without it. Like, I don't know how to say something serious without, like, not making it seem cheesy. But that's just me. Yeah. Lucas tried the mac and cheese. I did not try it. But didn't you say something like, it's exactly how I expected? Oh, yeah. It literally was exactly how I expected it to taste. Just a sponge. Like, <laughs> like, the noodles were literally the most soggy fucking things. Like, it wasn't al dente. I tried a french fry and, I mean, how can you mess up a french fry? They, these, no. 
These fun fries, yeah, you can't mess up a fun fry, but these fun fries are like on par. Kind of delicious. They were delicious, actually. Yeah, I love the fries. I was about to eat a shrimp, but then I decided to cut it in half because seafood from a um, buffet kind of weirds me out. So I decided to cut it in half and be like, is this a bunch of gummies? No, but it was actually a shrimp, and I think it was like, what did you say, honey shrimp or some shit? Yeah, some shit like that. I it was good, though. I dipped into the sketty, and it was, it tasted so much like Fazoli's. That's what I remember saying. Jacob and I did a Fazoli's video. It literally tasted exactly like that. It was good. Was the spaghetti basically like you cook spaghetti noodles and add some puego on top? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, we're watching this clip, and like, you hate it on the mac and cheese, but like, you obviously didn't hate it a lot because like, you go back and forth. <laughs> I kept finding myself back there. I had a bite of the pizza from the top because the bottom was dipped in gravy. So don't come for me and say, why do you eat top? piece of on the top. But yeah, basically I um had a slice and it tasted exactly like this one pizza but it sucks for you guys because I don't even know what pizza I'm talking about. But the sauce is, tastes like this other sauce I've had. But I don't know what the sauce, but I don't know what I'm thinking of, but like I do. I'm just promoting another one of Jacob's videos. When we tried all the frozen pizza brands, <laughs> it literally tasted exactly like a piece of frozen pizza. And I don't know what brand it was, but exactly like one of those frozen pizza brands which is good i actually like frozen pizza it just that's what it tasted like yeah i said it wow dessert time i just want to do a preface for all the golden corral stands out there because i know there's a few we didn't eat the carrot cake but there was a little what do you call it a poster in the golden corral saying try the go um carrot cake and they even gave the recipe but yeah, we didn't get that, so sorry. They had so much dessert. They had like chocolate, cr uh, what do you call it? Cake, cheesecake, no, like strawberry shortcake, brownies, rice krispies. They had this like icy machine, actual ice cream. I mean, all this other random shit. Like I don't even know what most of it is called, to be honest. The vibes at the dessert bar were a little bit different than the food bar. The woman behind the dessert bar, she just had this little smile on her face. And as I was picking out my dessert, she was smiling. And it kind of made me think like, she cooked this and I'm eating it and like she baked her love in it and now she's excited for me to put it in my body. Deep. You brought up an excellent point that I wasn't aware of. The dessert section, immaculate vibes compared to the rest. I wasn't even aware of it because I'm such a negative person, <laughs> but the dessert section did have a, a angelic energy. I know. This was in your head the whole time you were there like, <laughs> Yeah. I got an icy thing. I actually asked Lucas. This is how much of a dumbass I am. I asked Lucas, do I put these icies on my plate? It's like, <laughs> like bitch, it's liquid. <laughs> I was like, please don't pour out the icy machine on a plate. Like at that point, like we we're all kind of like one big family. So I was like, please don't embarrass us in front of all of them. I got like a peach icy and like, it was good. Like, I think the icy machine adds five points to Golden Corral. That's fucking cool. Like they got an icy collab okay i'm not trying to go conspiracy but did they <laughs> but did but does golden corral go so hard with the desserts because it's your last impression like it was so good bop after bop i didn't care that the macaroni was a mush bowl because the desserts just hit lucas told me to try the bread pudding so i did it was like so moist and delicious the only discredit i have to give to them and i need to say it is that one of their desserts please tell me that i'm not wrong this is the most lazy bitch thing ever was a marshmallow dipped in chocolate like i am sorry but i paid 16 dollars give me the effing marshmallow bake not a marshmallow dipped in fucking chocolate i mean it still tasted good but and i get it it's for the kids but i don't know as Ma! Lucas is too embarrassed to mention it now for some reason, but um, he told me that there was a Golden Corral steak sauce, and like, you kind of seem impressed. So like, why were you impressed? Like, give us the rundown. I just feel like it was pretty cool, if I do say so myself, that instead of just getting a steak sauce that already existed, they thought, let's make one. Even the Rice Krispies, 100% boring, but they were good. They were good! And you can't stop them from being good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And then as I filmed this clip of me posing, somebody made direct eye contact with me and I just felt like such a dumbass for some reason. Like they didn't make a grossed out face or anything. I envisioned what they, th who they thought I was in that moment. Like they thought like he is so obsessed with himself. Like he's trying to take a selfie. Like I just pictured how they judged me in that moment, which maybe they didn't even, but like. I guess the pro of that situation is that you're a self-aware queen. 
Then there's a pitfall to being self-aware. Yeah, basically being self-aware is like me doing anything and acting like it's being broadcasted to a million people and I see all these fake comments. You get what I'm saying? When you say it like that, it sounds like so scary. I know. It, I it's, it sounds I know. like I have like an intense mental disorder, but this is just like, like, like no, no, but, no, but that's just life. Like if you're so, if you're like a so in amount of self which most people are like, oh, you get yeah, what I'm saying. Oh, you will be with us even if I never go again. You will be with us. Golden Corral. Left a lasting impression on my heart. Can we still be on good terms even though I said negative things? Your body looks so good in that hula hoop. I know I shouldn't judge you by your physical features, but you look smoking. But your personality is great too, but in that hula hoop you look smoking. I just want to say, if the current CEO of the Golden Corral is watching... Wanna fuck? My mom! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, <God>. Yes! <laughs> Golden Corral, you're cool. That's all I'm gonna say. You, I've said enough. Nothing more needs to be said. I had a great evening at the Golden Corral Steaks Buffet and Bakery. I had a good time. I got to try a bunch of foods. There is a weird thing at the end of buffets, though, where you're like, there's just so much food in me. Like, so many different types of food, which is grosser than so much food of the same thing, you know? Yeah, I honestly don't feel, like, that full because I didn't go that hard, to be quite honest. But I still feel like it's just gross that there's pizza, then, like... Yeah, I just don't like that. And then just, like, throw in nacho cheese with, like... And then, like, a walnut shrimp. It's just so much. I'm glad this happened. Let's go. Subscribe. Subscribe. And one day, you'll be on the yellow brick road. Bye. Goodbye, Z's. Bye.